Outspoken and tough by all accounts, Carly Fiorina has friends and enemies in high places. You ran up mountains of debt as well as losses using other people's money, and you were forced to file for bankruptcy not once, I never not for twice, bankruptcy. four times, a record four times. Why should we trust you Mr. to I'll manage you the finances of this nation you, any differently than you manage running, the finances Carly, of your casinos? Carly. For foes, her most glaring weakness lies in two letters, HP. Fiorina made big headlines when she was named the first female CEO at that tech giant in 1999. But the headlines were even bigger when she oversaw the mega purchase of Compaq and HP went into a tailspin, losing half its stock value in the bursting tech bubble and laying off 30,000 workers. The company is a disaster and continues to be a disaster. They still haven't recovered. By 2005, Fiorina was very publicly and painfully fired. She told 60 Minutes about it. Almost as if they meant to take you down a peg or two, that kind of thing. Well, if that was their intent, they certainly succeeded in that. <laughs> For Wall Street, it wasn't personal, it was business. As soon as Fiorina was fired, HP's stock rose 7%, and Fortune Magazine's assessment is blunt. Her run as CEO, well, it just wasn't all that great. Yeah. Keep up, ladies. Uh, no, Come on. Not, no, we're not talking fast <laughs> enough now, are we? Sorry, I walk really fast. But Fiorina was soon pushing on, yep. advising John McCain's presidential bid in 2008, running for Senate in 2010, giving us the famous demon sheep ad and an infamous open mic moment when she insulted Barbara Boxer's hair. Laura saw Barbara Boxer briefly on television this morning and said what everyone says, God, what is that hair? <laughs> so yesterday, you didn't see. The Democrat responded by walloping Fiorina in the final vote. Life has hit Fiorina hard too. Twice married, she is a breast cancer survivor who underwent a mastectomy during that losing Senate campaign and who that same year lost her stepdaughter, Lori. Drug addiction is an epidemic, and it is taking too many of our young people, I know this sadly from personal experience.